Hi, hello, this is a new video about uh, EEG research guidelines and sorry for this interruption. So, and the uh, title is Advances in Hom Human Intracranial EEG Research Guidelines and Good Practices. That's like an introduction. And uh, authors are from Netherlands, I guess. I don't know. They're from France. Maybe not all of them. Um, so let's not all of them. So Germany, the U.S., Switzerland, Netherlands. Anyway, who cares? Um, anyone in China? We provide good practices for both new and experienced e. Uh, EEG researchers. We bridge the patient, clinician, and researcher perspective. Sections include data collection, processing, localization, analysis, and statistics. Each section provides a review, gives recommendations, and re demonstrates visualization. We provide an outlook and discuss perspectives on continued EEG development. So this is E. So this EEG is different, it's specific for intracranial, so this abbreviations for this. Um, so including the other ways, so this uh, electroencephalography also includes uh, electrocorticography and others as providing an intimate view into the human brain. At the interface between fundamental research and the clinic, this intracranial EEG provides both high temporal resolution and high spatial specificity but comes with constraints such as the individual's tailored sparsity of electrode sampling. Over the years, researchers in neuroscience developed their practices to make most of the EEG approach. Here we have offer a critical review. What is the difference between review or critical review? I don't know. Uh, intracranial EEG research practices in a deductive framework for newcomers. It means they will teach how to do this, uh, as well as addressing issues encountered by proficient researchers. The scope is threefold. Review common practices in intracranial EEG suggest potential guidelines for working with this data and answer frequently asked questions based on the most widespread practices and based on current there are physiological knowledge and methodologies paved the way to good practice standards the organization of this paper follows the steps of so so anyway the, the sixth section draws some unique perspectives on intracranial EEG research finally to ensure a consistent nomenclature throughout the manuscript and to align with other guidelines brain imaging data structure and this uh, committee on best practices in data analysis and sharing we provide glossary to disambiguate terms related to this research can we read it for free yes it seems we can read it for free let's look through let's look at uh, let's look at the article. So the introduction, the patients being a participant and the figures to support, the, they do it like DBS means uh, it's a method to uh, improve movement disorders, I guess. Deep brain stimulation. Um, The pre-surgical evolution, evaluation, surgical implantation, clinical monitoring. So this is a part of the task-related exploration section. Challenge, recommendations, and reporting advice. Uh, research projects in, in a clinical setting. I think this is a very good uh, guidelines if someone wants to start 
working on it, and it is it's like it's like it goes forever, like a book, <laughs> sort of. It's quite lengthy and interesting. So I think it's a great source to learn about EEG research, endocrinal uh, electroencephalography research, and I recommend you to read this article or book, whatever you call. And see you in the next video. Bye bye.